Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pilot Wings 64. Uh, in the last video, I actually started out doing the Class B Rocket Belt missions. In this video, I'm going to continue them with Test 2, more rings, and... Yeah, basically that's it. We have more ring missions. Uh, the gimmick behind this ring mission, though, as you can see, uh, there are some yellow rings that have the little triangles on the outsides of them. Uh, they will actually be, you know, rotating around the ring itself. Uh, basically, you want to go through those rings first, because whenever you do, they will actually create a time ring in a ring that's close by. And basically, you want to go inside that time ring, because um, if you don't go through all the time rings, you'll actually not get a perfect score. You'll actually miss out on five points for each time ring that you miss. So you're going to want to keep that in mind. So whenever you see the little triangles on the ring going around the circle, uh, you want to hit those rings first before you go inside any of the other rings that, you know, don't have the moving triangles. And then, yeah, just make sure you get into the time rings before they disappear. And uh, they do obviously have a time limit from the fact that they have a clock face on them whenever they form. So you got to be really quick about it, but you also got to know where you're actually going as well. So... You might want to pay attention to the radar, or just the area around you, just so you know where the time rings are going to end up. And then you're going to want to haul ass over to them. Okay, so there's another time ring right over here, so go through that. And we're almost done, I think we have only like four or five rings left. So let's go over the mountain again. Then go through this one. I don't think I've missed any time rings yet. But I'm not going to get too cocky just yet. Okay, go through this one over here. Oh crap, come on, go through it. Okay, good. Okay, now these two rings can actually be kind of tricky because they're, you know, horizontal. So you have to, you know, fall into them. Which can be kind of challenging. And yeah, you do have to fall into them because the... A time ring is actually on the bottom. So yeah, go through here, then go through the time ring, and crap, I missed it. Come on. Aw, oh, damn it. Damn it. Okay, so I'm gonna miss out on five points. Uh, the good thing about this mission, though, that is that there are no time points, so you can actually take as long as you need to, you know, prepare to get rings if you want. But still, like, you really have to hit all the rings then, so just be quick about it. Okay, so all I have to do now is just land on the targets. That should be a pretty good landing. At least I hope it is. Okay, yeah, I only missed five points, and that five point was from missing the time ring. So, that was pretty close to perfect. Okay, next, we actually have a pretty fun mission to do. This is Iron Head. Uh, the goal for this mission is you have to knock this giant green ball into the blue and green funnel, kind of in the distance there. Uh, all you have to do is just, you know, keep ramming into the ball, stay behind it, and then try to knock it up in the air as much as you can. Try not to knock it down towards the ground very much, because, as you can see, there are some obstructions in the ground. You know, the little uh, port platforms. If the ball does hit those platforms, it will kind of get stuck, so you want to uh, watch out for any situations like that. But besides that, though, it's a pretty easy mission. You can usually get these missions done in pretty much no time. And I think you have to beat the one-minute time limit if you want perfect points. Don't quote me on that time exactly. I think it's a minute. I don't know why they'd make it 50 seconds, but you never know. So yeah, I got a perfect score, so hooray for that. And we got so close to a perfect for the entire class, but as usual, I will take a gold badge. Okay, next, we are actually going to do the Class B Gyrocopter missions. Uh, I think I'm going to go back to Goose on this. Okay, so first we have River Run. Fly through every ring, then land on the runway. You'll receive no time points if you miss a ring, so... Yeah, pretty standard ring mission, as we've gone through several of these uh, by this point. Uh, the thing about this mission, though, is... At one point during the mission, you'll actually have a choice between, I think, uh, blue rings and white rings. 
And if you want to get full ring points, you have to go for the white ones instead of the blue ones. So, yeah, you kind of have to make your choice when that time comes. Okay, so the first rings are just blue rings, so you don't have to worry about that just yet. Be careful with this ring because you kind of have to avoid the ship. But I went fast enough, so didn't really have to worry about it. Okay, so the thing I was talking about is actually coming up right here. Okay, so we have uh, white rings, which are actually under the bridge, so we have to hit those instead of the blue one. There are no white rings right here, so we'll just hit the blue ones. Now right here, there's actually a very tricky white ring to get. You have to navigate through these little bridges and these structures very carefully. And blue ring there. White ring over here. Still have a few rings left. Now, in my opinion, the hardest thing about this uh, mission is actually the landing. Because uh, the landing is actually coming up here in a second. But it's actually not really going to be straight with you when you hit this last ring. So it becomes a matter of can you really navigate around this part just right so you can actually get lined up with the uh, runway can be kind of difficult. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, I missed the ring. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, I gotta fly back and get this ring. Can't believe I'm actually missing rings like this. Okay, come on. I'm probably not gonna get perfect time points for this, but yeah, whatever. At least I can approach the target a bit more slowly and actually make this landing count. Okay, so right here, should probably turn around. Okay, that's, that's as probably as straight as I'm going to get it. Ah, uh, come on. No, no, no. Okay, that actually wasn't... Oh, crap. Since I actually bounced off the ground right there, I might actually get a bad landing score now, too. A uh, bad landing impact, rather. Oh, 91. Okay, that really wasn't that bad at all. Landing accuracy was terrible, but... And not much I could really do about that, and I only lost one point for the time, which is really not that bad at all. So, let's move on to Metal Horizon. Destroy all ten missile targets, then land on the runway. You may, must destroy the targets to receive time points. This is kind of like the second mission in the Class A, where you have to de uh, destroy all the blue and, blue and white targets. Only this time there are ten of them you have to destroy, not just three. And you do have to destroy all of them, so you have to kind of navigate this area uh, pretty um, carefully if you want to get them all. I don't think you can actually get them on one run unless you, like, slow down, like, majorly and you actually hit all the targets one by one. I usually just uh, go through one run forward, one run back, and then uh, another run forward again. And then if I miss any, I'll just quickly go back and then do the landing. Yeah, this can actually be kind of tricky. Probably the hardest mission in the- CRAP! Ugh. Stupid wall. Yeah, that target's actually kind of hard to hit. Okay, let us try this again. Uh, basically what I've decided to do with, uh, you know, cutting footage and that kind of stuff. If I fail once, and if it's like, like very early on in the mission, I won't cut anything out. But if it's like multiple failures over and over again, I am probably going to cut them out just because, well, even though they can be funny sometimes, you guys don't want to watch me fail a mission over and over and over again for 15 minutes. I mean, yeah, fails can be funny, but not when they're repeated fails over and over again. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I would like to, you know, make progress with this project. It's not a very long game. It doesn't need to be dragged on for like 20 videos of fail. Just my opinion anyways. Okay, so usually when you go through this course, you're going to get about 6 or 7 targets on your first fly through the level. And then you have to fly back and get the last ones and the ones you missed. That's usually, um, that's usually how you'll do this mission. Um, some of these targets are in very weird places, like in between these little canyons. So you have to fly very carefully 
and it really doesn't help that it's nighttime, like literally pitch black out, because I don't know if it's going to be very noticeable in the video or not, but on my TV screen, it is really, really dark. So dark, I can barely see some of the walls, so... Yeah, if you uh, don't have your brightness up, this mission can be very frustrating. Okay, let's hit this target. Hit the one that's over here. Okay. Now we'll fly over and get this last one, and then we're done. We can actually make the landing. Now, for this runway, it's really not that hard to hit, but, like, keep in mind that you don't want to fly straight at it, because it's actually, um, it actually runs from north to south. So, you, what you kind of want to do here is you want to kind of fly out to the west for a little bit, and then when you're kind of lined up with it, you're going to want to just turn around right there and then start heading towards it. Go a little bit farther, and there we go. That should be enough. And then, of course, you're going to want to start slowing down. Okay, yeah, I'm not lined up with it yet, but at least I can see it. And then, yeah, just make the landing like you normally do. Okay, this should actually be pretty good. Wow, that was good. I probably lost some points for landing impact, but that should be perfect accuracy right there. Okay, yeah, I landed a little hard, but 95 points, that is really, really good. That pretty much assures us that we can get a perfect score, or not perfect, but a gold medal, if we get, um, let's see, 24 plus, um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to do math in my head. But yeah, we can pretty much get a um, gold badge if we get 84 points in this mission.